Good day, people, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac. This game is awesome. I have been playing the living hell out of it the last couple of days, and I've completed it with everyone apart from Eve. So we're going to do that. If you haven't seen this game, then you'll quickly learn what it's all about. It's uh, quite disturbing, and oh wow, that's a good first item to be getting. It's the relic. Basically, you go around in this little dungeon thing, you collect items and kill monsters, and it'll screw you over every turn. Oh god! So yeah, you've got to avoid you know, people shooting you and such. Yeah, it's, it can turn out to be pretty difficult at times. Um, if you haven't seen this game before, then apart from living under a rock, uh, it, it's like pretty, pretty disturbing. And uh, yeah, um, pretty, pretty weird. Die fly. So, it's got a lot of uh, biblical references in it, and it's been made by Team Meat. He's been made Super Meat Boy, obviously, and that guy just got blown up by a bomb. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a really fun game, and uh, it's only like £4, which is like, I don't know, $6 maybe? I don't know what the uh, American... Uh, conversion rate or whatever it is. But it's on Steam, so uh, I highly recommend you pick it up. So, oh, this is one of the mini bosses that you fight in the game. It's very similar to Bomberman. Yeah. Ha! Blew himself up. Ow, that was dumb. Yeah, so this character only starts with, uh, oh, and I died. <laughs> See, yeah, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to my health, and I died. Yeah, this character uh, yeah, has less. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Has lower than average health. Um, however, if she's taken down to half a heart, she gains massive stat increases. And if you get hit, this little bird comes out, the dead bird. It'll fly around and attack uh, people for you. So uh, that's pretty cool. And oh no, flies. <laughs> Most of this will probably be just me dying, but yeah. The main reason I'm doing this video, including all the deaths, is uh, because I just wanted to test out my new computer. Oh yeah. Uh, and see how fast it is to uh, render videos and all that stuff. It's very, uh, it's like probably three or four times better than my last computer. So uh, it should should be pretty good. It means more videos. More videos to come out over the next forever. Ah, I've got hit. I hate these flies. It's a key there. Keys can be used to open doors, which is pretty obvious, but you know, that was a really easy room. <laughs> Those black flies can't physically hurt you. It's pretty cool. Yes. I played this literally all day yesterday, and uh, yeah, I felt like oh, I'd make some videos. Now that I've got everything installed in this computer. Uh, die, 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 die! Oh, and this is the item room again, and we got oh, Robo Baby, awesome. This is a pretty awesome item. It's basically a baby that fires lasers. <laughs> wow, well, I haven't had this item before actually. I only unlocked it like two runs ago. Hmm. Now there is a secret room you can find. I'm gonna take a bit of a risk and put the bomb that I collected there. It wasn't there, but I got two bombs out of that blue rock. Notice that rock was uh, a slightly different color to all the others. Effectively, all that means is that rock is potentially hiding treasure in it. No, do I want to get this? Uh, where could it? Let's see. 
Yeah, if I put it that way, I'm getting them. I don't know where the secret room is. It's usually where uh, the rooms are surrounding a missing gap. Might be down here actually. Uh, going into the shop room. It's not much point me going into the shop because I don't really have any money. No, it wasn't enough, damn. Should have just gone the safe option and got the chest, but whatever. Alright, uh, just gonna head to the boss room now. Now, there are several bosses in this game, and I'll see which one this is. This one is Monstro. Monstro is pretty easy. The, uh, will do basically this. He will spit blood at you. And that's really about it. He'll jump and fire blood out in all directions. He's probably one of the most simple bosses in the game. And he will die. Oh, he's jumping again. Spin up blood again, but my Robo Baby is making quick work of him because lasers are awesome. And he's just doing this move over and over again. No, he's not. There we go. He died. That was really easy. Right, and now he dropped a blue heart. Now these are soul hearts. They're temporary hit points. And I got Mum's heals, which gives me a range up, which is pretty useful. You'll also notice I have a pill in my uh, on my Q button. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to eat it or not, but I will just to show you. And uh, I've got bombs a key. That switched my bombs with my keys. Basically, the pills will are uh, random whether they give you a negative or a positive effect. How I died. I got hit. That was stupid. Um, yeah. The game can seriously screw you over by giving you a negative pill effect. Oh, there are items uh, that will uh, mean that you can only get positive pill effects, which is pretty nice. If you get those, then you're going to have a pretty good run. Now, I've just picked up a tarot card. Now, this, uh, this is the stars. When I use it, it'll teleport me to the item, which is really useful. It gave me 10 bombs, and there's a blue rock in here, so I will destroy that. It gave me a soul heart and a bomb, which is really nice, especially considering this character has... Only two hit points. He's a beggar. I don't want to give him any money yet because I don't have any to spare. Uh, he will give you items randomly uh, when, when you give him money. The thing is, he won't necessarily give you an item until, you know, there's no set amount. It's very random which uh, how much money you have to give him. But he usually gives you really good items. Sometimes better than the item shop because you know you can only give him one coin effectively and get something from him. Right. Let's kill these piles of poo. Literally piles of poo. And you'll see what I mean by uh, this game being pretty disturbing. Uh, die. Another coin. Four coins now. Oh, this has got a lot of coins in this room. Um, I've got lots of bombs, actually. I'll, I'll just blow this up. The silver coin is a nickel. That gives you five coins. That's pretty good. Blow that up as well. Get these. Oh, I just noticed the shop's actually right there. So, yeah, I'll get this one as well. I'm not going to get the other one. One, two coins. Open this. And, oh, yes. That's a really nice item there. When it's red, it means it's on sale. You can get an item called the Steam Sale, which puts every item on sale. But this is Charm of the Vampire. And every 13 kills you get with this item, you get a heart back. Which is really, really useful. Oh dear, this is a nasty room. Okay, it could have gone a lot worse. These things walk around at random and shoot out blood from their necks. <laughs> And if uh, sometimes you can start a room, they all shoot towards you and you take always take damage, but I got a bit lucky there. But that's not necessarily a good thing that I got lucky, because that means this game will screw me over in a minute. You never want to feel like you, uh, you've had luck. But 
find anyways. Got here, what's in this door? Oh, oh. almost didn't notice you fly. I might, might just go randomly silent at times, so that's when I'm kind of concentrating. This game, yeah, this game has annoyed me so much that I just, I'm just determined to beat it. But I mean, for four pounds, uh, this game is like hugely great quality. Like, uh, it's got so much content. It's just, it's amazing how much content I got. For, there is for four pounds. You can't even unlock the last level till you've beaten the game twelve times. And then there's like 60 something items to unlock. Anyway, that was the secret room you just noticed there. I blew it up with a bomb. Because you'll see there's like a horseshoe of rooms with a block in the middle. Right, I've now got enough coins to pick up the treasure map, which is a really good item as well. It means that uh, when I go to a new level, you'll see. But uh, effectively, I can see the whole map and where the secret room is. Uh, the beggar gave me a soul heart for one coin, that was worth it. And I probably won't give me anything now. No. Let's just blow him up with a bomb. <laughs> oh, this, this game is so so morbidly funny. Ah, Larry Jr. Larry Jr. is a spoiler. Uh, he is like one of the easiest bosses, but you can get trapped by him, so... See, out. Now my dead bird is out now, so this is like this is easy mode. If my dead bird will latch onto him, yep. See, my dead bird just annihilates Larry Jr. because he has several um, places where he can be hit. Ah, interesting, interesting. It's pretty good for a uh, run where I'm sort of explaining the game. This is the devil room. This will appear randomly. Right, basically the devil room, uh, you can make a pact with the devil to get items. Now that's, that is brother Bobby there, the blue uh, baby. He just shoots out tears. And that is brimstone. I haven't picked up brimstone before, but... Uh, two hearts for it? No, I'll pass. I will pass. It's not worth the hearts. I don't have enough hearts to give away yet. Okay, the secret room is here, because I can see it on my map now, because I picked up the map. And it's a slot machine. Great. I'm just going to destroy this. Oh, I got a nickel out of it. Worth it. Yeah, slot machines are very random. I find you need a lot of, uh, a lot of coins to be able to get any use out of them. Oh, and this is a mini boss room. This is Envy. Uh, he doesn't seem hard. He's not that hard, but you'll see. Um, get away from him. Oh no, he's split into two. I bet you can't guess what happens when you kill these heads. If I can actually kill them, and not miss. Uh, that was close. Oh no. And these heads. Get into these three small ones. Oh no, got hit. Ow. Oh, this, I hate this boss so much. Oh no! Idiot. What did I do that for? It's so hard to hit as well because they're so small. There we go. And he dropped a troll bomb. Great. That room was annoying. Yeah, I'm really, really awful at this game. Oh no! Oh, I got cornered by maggots. These are the worst maggots in the world as well. They don't even do anything. He's like the least threatening mobs in the game and I got hurt two hearts. I got a key at least, that's useful. I got two keys. So you can get into the item room. Oh, uh, it help. 
Things are so annoying, you can't hurt them when their heads are down. Oh, well, at least my dead well my dead bird can hurt them when their heads are down. Um okay, have enough. Let's go into the shop because yeah, nothing in here. There is a teleporter, which is that thing in the middle, and book of revelations, which gives you soul hearts on use. But I'll explain on use items in a minute. And there's a chest here. Um, no. I don't have enough quite I need more keys because I want to keep the key for the item room. So I don't know where the item room is. That's the, oh, that's the battle arena there, or the challenge room. Um, you can only enter there when you have full hearts. And when you do enter it, uh, you have to fight waves of monsters. Another one of these mega rooms. I still have yet to see uh, the appearance of one of the worst enemies in the game. But, uh... Ah, die. Haha. <laughs> This last one, I hate this room layout so much. Uh. Up, up. There we go. That didn't actually take any damage in that room. That's, uh, these maggots will fire out, spit in the direction they're going. Ow. The dead bird's out now. He's gonna, he's gonna wreak some havoc on them. in the face. Okay, now uh, you'll notice that the uh, item room has it is locked. It's locked as of level two, but the first time we have the stars card, so and it's homing bombs. That's pretty useful, I guess, later on in the game. All right, there is nothing else we can do on this level. We could go to the battle arena, I guess. Let's go to the battle arena. Duh, duh. The music's so good in this game as well. Uh, it's just a normal chest, but I'll do it just to show you. Right. Monsters will spawn like so. Avoid all their shots. Now these guys, crybaby guys. Fairly tricky third wave. The waves always uh, the same. Like if you if you know what the first monster in a wave is, then you know what the rest of the uh, rooms gonna have in. I know that after this wave, it will be the tower guys. A bird. Go to bird. <laughs> and I got a key. Nice. So I can actually now I've got two keys from right that. I can go and open um, two gold chests. Like this one. And I got that. Tammy's head. It's a really awful item. Oh well, it's better than not having a usable item. We'll see what it does in a minute. Hmm. I actually get that heart. Now you can explode rocks to make pathways like that. You've got to be careful because if you put the bomb too close, the rock will just get destroyed and you won't get a pathway. And like that. And lock down. I've got a key and two coins. Let's go to the boss, defeat the boss. Right. 
fistula. Okay, this will be fairly good, I guess, to show uh, Tammy's head. Now this boss is kind of like envy. Ow. Ow. Oh Right, this is what uh, I was talking about. This is the Horror of Babylon item that uh, Eve starts with. When you get dropped down to half a heart, you turn into a massive demon and gain loads of damage. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, dessert. HP up. Pretty solid item. I'm going to go out and pick up these hearts before I uh, go down to the next level. Right, I've got to go all the way up there. I can live with half a heart missing. And down we go. And the secret room is right here again. Oh no, maggots. Maggots and cry babies. Yeah, and my charm of the vampire kitchen, that's useful. I forgot I had that <laughs> I've not been keeping count of how many monsters I've been killing. Come on, techno baby. Oh, seriously. Like, wish my dead bird would actually latch onto monsters more often. Oh well. Right, the secret room. Let's see what's in here. Just coins. Yeah, reasonable. Got lots of coins now, so if I can find the shop, I can actually afford something this time. Let's see if there's anything good. In the last shop, it was pretty rubbish. Uh, a vending machine, a slot machine, even. Oh, we'll get rid of that. Don't want that right now. Oh, these guys, however, these guys can, however, be hurt while they're down. They just shoot out more bullets. Ow. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to complete this one. Because, um, actually, I think I might actually. This time. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going for a bit. Ah, exploding barrel room. Go across this way. Oh, meats! I don't like these meats. They only shoot in directions that you have to hit them in. Ow! These guys, now these guys will just charge at you relentlessly until they die. And when they do die, they see, see they turn into blobs of goop. Then you gotta kill them again. There we go. Alright, the shop's not here. So let's go back. This game soaks up a lot of time. Oh no! The worst monster in the game. Oh no, there's fires in the corner. Kill the fires, kill the fires, kill the fires. Like these jumping jack guys, if they get set on fire, they become stronger. And they're so annoying because they got there's no way to predict where they're gonna jump. Two chests in the middle of that, I'll put a bomb down. Oh trouble. These are even worse. These are jumping jacks like Oh I might actually die. Tammy's had the Oh dear. Fail. Let's see what's in the item. Great kamikaze, that's useful. 
that does damage to me and cause the explosion around. That is useless. Especially when I'm on half a heart. I've got to be careful of these spikes. Uh, a ladder, I'll take that. And a pill. Uh, range down, great. Not what I wanted, but whatever. Now, I can either go straight for the boss and try and kill it with half a heart, or I can explore the rest of the dungeon. Uh, I could well be screwed here. Oh no! Phew, so like that. Well, crybabies and a ballerina like I can't go into. Now my damage with uh, the four of Babylon activated is pretty good. But I don't think I'm gonna make this run. Sadly. Nope, no hearts. So I've gotta either risk that one room, which could well be one of the seven deadly sins up there, because that looks like uh, the map location sort of place where one of those bosses would be. Or go to the box. Let's go up. Yep, no it. Pride though. Pride's pretty easy. Oh. The Empress. Ah. If I remember correctly, this is. If I use it. Oh no, it's not. It's just that uh, activates the Lord Babylon. Oh, this is Chubb. Chubb is a. No. Like, oh no, I knocked the bomb out of the way. Oh, and I. Yep. I died. Oh dear. Anyway, that is Binding of Isaac. That is my first look. This is the pilot episode, I guess. And um, <laughs> if you enjoyed it, do like and comment and all that stuff. Uh, most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more. And also remember, lots of new videos will be coming out soon because I got my new computer. Oh yeah. New computer and fast internet. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.